Hey everybody, thanks for visiting my channel and choosing to watch this video about how to create a term GPA calculation using BI Publisher desktop version. Please feel free to add your comments below or DM me if you have any questions you'd like for me to review offline. The inspiration for this video came from a calculation issue a friend of mine was having. Before I get to the solution though, I'm going to talk a little bit about the problem. The question was how to do a calculation of two fields in a BIP template. The person was trying to sum units taken and also sum grade points, then divide the summed grade points by the summed units taken. The calculation was rendering a very cryptic BIP error. The goal of the report is to show the term GPA for all classes taken by individual students. We start with a simple query in PeopleSoft for this displayed here, we include employee ID, term, class, units, and grade points. Then we extract the XML file that's going to be used to feed the BIA Publisher template. The goal is to display the term GPA by student. To do this, we first need to determine how the GPA is calculated and which elements we need. The elements are grade points and units taken for each class. The way that a GPA is typically calculated is by multiplying each numeric grade value by the number of units the class was worth. Add these numbers together and then divide by the total number of units taken. In our example, we would simply need to divide the sum of grade points by the sum of units taken. Easy, right? So let's see how one might approach this. I have already opened up a blank RTF file for this and saved it to my desktop, since this is only an example. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will not be creating a report definition in PeopleSoft. I will simply load and run the data on the fly locally on my computer. I am going to use the template wizard to get things started, and along the way, we'll be making some manual adjustments to the pre-built code. Inside the RTF template, I'm just going to go ahead and select the sample XML data on my desktop. Data loaded. Now let's go ahead and show Ample ID term, class number, units, and grade points. To do this, I'm using the wizard. I always like to start by displaying all levels of the data just to get an idea of the structure and the content. So selecting a grouping by Ample ID or student choosing to group left so that I get all rows in the table horizontally and the sorting is already done for me. What I'm doing now is I'm rendering the data to the PDF format so that I know what kind of information is going to be displayed. And here obviously we have all the details by Impel ID, by term, units taking grade points for each individual class. Now that we have the data in front of us, let's break it down a little bit before we reach the final calculation of the GPA. To get to that, I'm choosing to split the calculation in two. So I add a sum for both the grade points and the units taken elements. I then test to make sure that these calculations are correct. So to do that, I start by displaying the two columns and then by clicking on the field value in the insert menu bar, selecting the units taken for that first column, creating calculation on sum because I do want the totals or rather the sum for the units taken and also the sum for the grade points, which will be rolling up all the information uh, for each individual class within that term. Just checking here the code behind the scenes. So we see the individual elements are wrapped around that sum calculation or function. So that is definitely not right. Let me go back to see why. I have a sneaking suspicion. Since the data is being grouped, I need to account for that in the aggregation so that the units and grade points roll up at the student and term level. So let me just redo this. And this time around, check the grouping option and then calculation of sum and that should actually do the trick.
Okay, that's a whole lot better. If you take a look at the um, sum units taken, you add up all the individual units taken in that third column, um, and you see that they count up to 4.5 for the first sample ID there. And the same thing um, with the grade points. So now I'm just going back to my RTF, and I'm double checking what the um, calculation for the last two columns was. Keeping that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and add a third or rather a last column indicating my first attempt at calculating the um, overall GPA for each individual student in that term. So I want to insert a calculation um, by putting in a new field. I'm going to go ahead and insert the XSI field that's automatically generated in BM Publisher. Double click on that to open the properties, go to the advanced tab. Here I'm going to insert my previously copied and pasted calculation. Double clicking on XSI again because I actually would like to give a proper uh, name text to display for this for this column. Click OK. Just a plain GPA will, will do in this case. Rendering the data, I'm coming up with some weird numbers here and it doesn't look right. This does not look like a GPA to me. It's kind of taking each individual uh, grade point, and that is not right. The calculation is not working, so I'm going back to the template now. So going back to the template and then opening up the properties for that GPA field, I see that I'm missing the grouping statement. So I'm going to go back and insert the proper calculation in order to account for the regrouping of the data. So the logic is that you first have to have a uh, group level aggre aggregation for each employee ID and not the separate classes individually so that all elements, um, grade points and units roll up to the level of that employee ID. Hence the need to include nested grouping by using that current group element. And now when we render the information, now that's a proper uh, grade point average. It looks like, and if you do um, a calculation using your calculator um, to test the calculation that you have applied within BI Publisher for that field, you'll see that it'll be right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and play with the format a tad, change it to a number, and then show decimal points. I think two decimal points will suffice here so that it just looks nice and consistent and not. Uh, very messy with those uh, multiple zeros at the end. So here I'm just showing you the solution in detail, how to apply the appropriate grouping on the calculation used to find the grade point average. Finally, since it doesn't really make sense to display so many rows per student and the only thing that we care about showing is the GPA by term, we can edit the RTF further in order to show just that. Here is how that would look like. Now it's a matter of regrouping your data and deleting the detailed class level and unit columns. But the GPA uses the same formula and code that I showed you earlier. Here I would like to note that for everything to be adjusted underneath a single header for Ample ID student term and GPA, you actually need to move that header up and outside of your um, for each group statements. And here's the final rendering of that report. Have fun with this and if you have any questions, please remember to put them in the comments or DM me. Have a good one.